Hey everyone, it is Monday afternoon right now and I currently have 28 items that are paid and ready to get shipped out. I do have a few things planned for tomorrow. I have that morning show in the AM that I've been doing, the live streams with the other two Joshes. And I also, I'm gonna meet up with my guy locally and take away another car load of stuff that he has ready for me. So I'm excited about that. But with those two things on my plate tomorrow, especially just grabbing the car load of stuff. I think I'm gonna be able to sleep better tonight if I grab these orders and pack them up tonight. So let's go ahead and do that. And typically when I share my what's sold, I have my laptop in front of me and I have everything like nicely laid out, like where I sourced the item from and how much I paid for it. I don't have that with me right now. So I'm just gonna share what the item sold for plus shipping or not. And I think hopefully that'll still be helpful. You'll see what I'm actually selling on eBay and hopefully this list will help you when you're outsourcing. You know, it'll be like a mini bolo list. Okay, the first item here is a Slingbox Pro. This was part of a bulk purchase, one of the car loads I picked up locally from my guy, but this sold for $23.79 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item is a pair of women's Sorel boots. These were a garage sale find, but these sold for $89.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item here is a bottle of perfume. This is a 3.3 ounce bottle and it's sold for $25.32 free shipping. This next item here is a thrift store find, a Wrangler's men's pearl snap button down shirt and it's sold for $21.24 free shipping. This was another item, part of that bulk purchase that I picked up from my guy. This sold for $8.49 and the buyer paid for shipping on top. This next item here is another bottle of perfume. This is Olympia, the intense version, but it sold for $42.32, free shipping. This next item is a Logitech Pro 9000 webcam. I don't remember exactly where I bought this. I want to say a garage sale or maybe an estate sale, but this sold for $17.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next sale was a Rain Spooner Aloha Hawaiian short sleeve shirt, a casual button down. This was a retail arbitrage, just brand new with tags. And I bought it off clearance, maybe 15, at most $20 for this, and it sold for $44.79 free shipping. This next sale was just a random lot of 18 Sony PlayStation PS1 loose discs, and I just sold them as is, and I took a best offer for this one, $20, and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item, we have more perfume. This is Japor. This is men's cologne, actually, a 3.3 ounce bottle, and it sold for $44.79, free shipping. This next sale was a broken laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad. I sold it as is for parts, and it's still sold for $29.99, and the buyer paid for shipping on top. This next sale was a woman's North Face jacket, a really small size. It was a size extra small, but this sold for $64.99 and the buyer paid for shipping on top. It's been a while since I've sold one of these, a baseball bat, but this one here sold for $29.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item here is a pair of white Hudson jeans, biker jeans. This was retail arbitrage. I don't pay more than $20 for clothing. Shoes are a different story. I'm willing to pay up for shoes, but clothing, I don't pay more than $20 when they're on clearance. And this sold for $64.99 and the buyer paid for shipping on top. This next sale was a Garmin GPS navigation system and it sold for $22.79 and the buyer paid for first class mail shipping. This next sale is a lot of two Burberry sample size bottles of perfume. These were just added on to a bulk purchase I made, so $0 invested into this, and they sold this lot of two for $16.99, free shipping. This next sale is more men's cologne. This one is Zara for men, and I took a best offer for this one, $20, free shipping. This next sale was an Atlantic Disc Manager. I I think I want to say I paid a dollar for this at a garage sale and the only reason why I picked it up was because it was brand new and nothing too crazy here but it sold for $14.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next item I actually just listed it recently so it's still back in my eBay room but this is an ugly Christmas sweater and had like a little cool shark on it. I thought it was pretty cool at least but this was a thrift store find and it sold for $22.79 and the buyer paid for shipping. But I guess people are thinking about Christmas now because this just like flew off the shelf. This next sale was a lot of Nintendo DS games and I also included this Guitar Hero controller. But these two had the case and manuals and then these were cartridges only in generic cases. 
but individually all of these just aren't worth a lot so I lotted everything up and it sold for $19.99 free shipping. This next sale is a lot of four PlayStation 2 memory cards. I typically come across these when I pick up PlayStation 2 bundles or just video games and controllers and these memory cards always slide in there. Once I had enough memory cards to create a lot of four, I just created a listing and sold them for $21.07 free shipping. This next sale is a Simpsons chess set. It's um, from 1992 so definitely a vintage piece here in really rough condition but I picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar or two and it sold for $16.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next sale is a Transformers Autobot Drift action figure. This is actually going to Romania and the buyer sent me a really nice message and he said he bought this for his son's birthday present so excited that this is going to a good new home. This is part of that bulk purchase I made locally for my guy and it sold for $14.99 and the buyer paid for shipping. This next sale is a pair of women's Skechers shape ups. I probably will avoid this colorway moving forward but this was a thrift store find and it sold for $16.99 and the buyer paid for shipping on top. This next sale is a Wrangler pearl snap button down shirt, a thrift store find. These are just really good bread and butter items for me. Nothing too crazy but consistent sellers. Um, this one sold for $25.49 free shipping. This here is another Azara for men men's cologne and this one sold for $19.37 free shipping. This next sale, nothing too crazy, but I can typically find these laptop chargers for super cheap at garage sales for a dollar, sometimes even like 25 or 50 cents. But this one here sold for $9.55 free shipping and it's going out first class mail, so it's gonna cost me like three, four dollars to ship out. And the last sale is a Brooks Brothers Makers necktie. I've been really picky with my neckties these days, but you can typically pick these up for super cheap and they're super easy to store just because they're so small. But Brooks Brothers Makers is a good bread and butter item. Picked it up for like two, three bucks and it sold for $21.24 free shipping. All right, so this is everything for now. I'm just gonna load it up in my car and hopefully pack up at least the majority of it tonight. One thing I will show you guys, I sold this baseball bat. It's been a while since I've sold a baseball bat. And the last time I sold a baseball bat, I didn't show how I packed and shipped it out. And I got a lot of questions about how to do it in the comment section below. So I'm going to go back home and show you guys how to pack and ship out a baseball bat. So shipping a baseball bat, in my opinion, is extremely simple. The secret is to have the right materials. And what you're going to need, you're going to need tape and bubble wrap. And the secret weapon here is to use a priority mail medium mailing tube. And if you're planning on selling bats, I'd go ahead and just order these. You can buy these off the USPS website. And I said buy, but you can get these for free. Um, they'll just ship them to you directly. But what I'll do, so I'll use this medium mailing tube. And there's two sides, so you have to make sure that the priority mail side is on the outside. So you want the priority mail express on the inside. What I do is I just grab a piece of bubble and I just make it slightly longer than the actual bat itself. And I'll just wrap it around once. So wrap it, take some tape. I'm just going to wrap the bubble around the bat. Just one layer. And it really doesn't have to be pretty as long as the bat is protected. And sometimes I'll just tape down the ends so the ends are protected as well. Alright, so just one layer of bubble wrap. And what I'll do just to secure the bat and make sure it doesn't shift around during shipment, I'll take tape and I'll tape it down to one side of the box. So just like that. And I usually find three pieces of tape is enough to secure it in place. I have the bat taped down so it's secured during shipment and the rest is super easy. So this box has these little creases in them so just fold them up where it creases and you'll have 
these little slots, three of them. So you just need to fold this part down here and insert it in. And then you do the same for the ends. You just fold it where it creases and just like a little puzzle, you just put it together. I have like a little flap and a hole. And once you have this medium mailing tube box, once you start folding it, it'll make a bit more sense. Uh, it kind of just like fits into place once you start folding it. So like I mentioned, kind of like a puzzle, it kind of all fits together. And just to secure it a bit, I tape everything down. So two long pieces right here. And where I'm actually taping are these little flaps right here where they insert into the hole. I feel like that's the weakest joint. So I'll just reinforce it with tape. And these ship out just like any other Pryder Mail package. So once you slap the label on it, it ships out. It costs like seven, eight bucks to ship out. And it is kind of weird because the box is triangular in shape. So for the dimensions, I'll measure out the length which is about 38. And then for the other two dimensions, I'll just put six and a half by six and a half. And I've never had any issues shipping it out like that. But with that, everything else I sold this past weekend is a fairly easy packing job. It's just a matter of finding the right size box, bubble wrapping the item or protecting it with packing material like packing paper and taping the box up. So nothing too crazy to share outside of the baseball bat. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoy seeing what I'm selling. Um, personally for me, I gained the most value from watching other people's what's sold videos and just, you know, just taking mental notes of what's working for them. That's personally helped me in terms of sourcing um, and the growth of my business. So I try to include that in my video. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, that's everything I have. I'll catch you in the next. Bye. <laughs>